With all the hype around the fourth industrial revolution, many organizations are scrambling to implement AI and machine learning in their operations and client offerings. Many are failing. Where do you start? And what are the steps to ensure successful implementation? Thank you for joining me. Recently at a conference where I was speaking, a delegate came up to me and he said, all this AI stuff you are talking about sounds very interesting, but where do I even start on this journey in my business? That is a question that most business owners and senior executives are asking at the moment. Most of us work in a traditional business. We have been around for many years and we have lots of technical debt and legacy systems and our workforce may not be all that ready or even suited for the introduction of new disruptive technology. Many of us wish we worked for an AI first business like Uber or even one of the trailblazers like Google, Facebook or Alibaba. It would also be amazing to be part of an AI startup. Don't you think? Imagine having AI and machine learning underscore your whole business from day one. So if you ask me, should we be on an AI journey in my business? My answer will be absolutely. But I will also want to add, maybe not now. So why wait, you may ask me. I will advise you to ensure that you first lay the right foundations before you introduce AI and machine learning into your organization. Here are the important steps to take before you embark on an AI journey in your business. First and foremost, you have to align with the business strategy. What problems and challenges do you need to address? Is it possible that AI and machine learning is not the answer to your problem? Let me give you an example. Recently, I met with one of my banking clients who wanted to introduce AI into their human capital management division. At the start of the meeting, I told the audience that they may not use words like artificial intelligence, robotics or machine learning, or any other technology term during the meeting. Then I took a pen, and drawing on the whiteboard, I asked them to tell me about their business problems. You, you see, we often start a solutioning discussion with a possible technology answer already in our mind. We wrongly start by assuming we know what kind of technology will work for us. But the right place to start is to look at the problem statement and the business objective. During this client meeting, we discovered that they do not need AI. In fact, they do not even need robotic process automation. This client's problem was that their business processes were not defined and documented. So what was the answer to their problem? They needed a process engineering initiative and we were able to use Microsoft Flow to automate the required tasks. If we start at the problem we need to solve, we may discover that AI is not the answer. Secondly, you need to understand your AI ambitions. What is the reason why you want to embark on this journey? Often it is the classical fear of missing out. Others are doing it, so we better do it too. Sometimes a divisional executive will want us to use AI in order to tell the board that he or she is implementing AI in their division. I call this the AI tick box exercise. These initiatives cost money, divert unnecessary time and are often doomed to fail. The following are relevant reasons to introduce a new technological capability into your business. Number one, 
decreasing your cost base. Number two, lowering your exposure to risk. And number three, improving customer experience. Thirdly, you need to assess your AI maturity. You may call this an AI readiness assessment or an AI maturity matrix. Map out your organization's main process areas. These could include customer service, finance, operations, human capital management, and service management. Then, as part of the matrix, map the maturity per process area in order from manual processing, isolated automation with individual tasks and tools, tactical automation utilizing a variety of tools, and end-to-end -end strategic automation. This matrix should give you a high-level view of the business area most ready for an AI initiative. At the start of this video, I mentioned the question was posed to me at the recent conference. Where do we even start on the journey in my business? The simple but important answer in my mind, start with any area that directly impacts the way you service your customers. I already made reference to the importance of aligning with your business strategy determining your AI ambitions and assessing your business readiness for AI. Apart from this, it is imperative that you also keep the following in mind. Change management. Many of your staff may feel insecure about their future when you start talking about the introduction of AI and robotics. You need to take them by the hand on a journey of discovery. Rather speak about cobotics the fact that this technology should enhance our jobs rather than replace us. Regulatory requirements and labor relations. If you work in a highly regulated industry like banking and financial services, you may be constrained to all the potential benefits that AI may bring to your business operations. You may also have a unionized workforce and will have to plan for the strategy and the messaging to your staff and the unions. Workforce upskilling. Intelligent augmentation is key to the journey. We need a well-formulated plan regarding the impact of AI on our current way of working and how AI will change the way we are working and the needed skills for this journey. New roles need to be introduced if you do not already have it, like data scientists and AI engineers. You may also be working in a market where future skills are limited. In which case you need to decide on a hybrid model of upskilling your staff and maybe utilizing the expertise of a third party vendor. Data. It starts and ends with data. The lifeblood that AI and machine learning lives on is data. Are you harvesting enough and suitable data from your clients if you have their permission and adhere to regulation and from your internal business operations? Behind every AI strategy is a well-defined and mature data strategy. With all in place, it is time to launch. Now that the right foundation is in place, you are ready to launch your first AI initiative. On the foundation of your AI strategy, you can now create your first AI build. A key consideration here is whether you should create it internally or buy it as a solution from a vendor. Next, you aim for your first proof of concept and minimum viable product. In the spirit of the agile process, you need to start small, fail fast and learn quickly. You need to build momentum to ensure your mandate is maintained your current and future funding is secure and that the organization sees value early on.
Every business is becoming a software business. It is through software that we manage our processes, build our offerings and service our customers. Artificial intelligence and machine learning is an imperative for every business as long as you take the right steps, follow the right plans and take your organization effectively on the journey with you. You will be successful. Thank you for watching and all the best with your own exciting AI journey.